In this video, we're going to work out the derivative of this polyam. We are going to work out the derivative of this polyam. Uh, we could always use implicit differentiation, but implicit differentiation doesn't allow us to work in terms of time. So, for example, um, the particle is moving along like this. It jumps all the way up here, and then it moves like this. Um, by, by, work, by differentiating it in parametric form, it allows us to work out the gradient at any precise moment in time. The implicit differentiation doesn't allow us to work in terms of time. So we've seen, we've seen the parametric equations for, for this volume. Uh, if you want to work out dy by dx, you would differentiate, you would differentiate the, uh, the y with respect to t, and then differentiate the x with respect to t. And we've seen we've seen why this is true in in um, in one of the early videos. Well, I have done a I've explained why this is true. So um, so so track back to one of the early videos if you don't understand why this is the case. But if you want to find dy by dx, differentiate the y with respect to t, and then differentiate the x with respect to uh, to t, uh, and then that will then give us this. So if you want to find dy by dx. Um, differentiate dy with respect to t, so differentiate y with respect to t, so that would then give you this whole thing here. So use the quotient rule. So square this, that would be squared, the v stays the same, uh, and then times the derivative, well, use the quotient rule, and then that would then lead you to this. And then use the quotient rule for this, that would then give you this thing here, because if you look at this, square the denominator, so you've got your denominator squared and so on. So use the quotient rule. Uh, use the quotient rule. That will then take you this. Notice that this is exactly the same as this. So you can always tidy it up. So if you tidy it up, it will then give you this thing here. So uh, so if you look at this and this block here, uh, you've got 3a in common, and then you've got 3a, 3a. You can factor out the 3a, and then the two will cancel out. That will then give you that will then give you this and then tidy it up. That will then give you that will then give you that will then give you this thing here. So dy by dx equals this. So what, once we know dy by dx, we can identify the, the horizontal tangent, we can identify the vertical tangent. Uh, you've got a horizontal tangent here. By the way, you don't have a vertical tangent here because because if you look at the movement of the particle, it moves like this, jumps all the way up here, and then it moves along here, and it does cross over the origin. But then around here, um, around here, it heads towards zero. It doesn't actually get towards zero. It just gets closer and closer and closer to the origin. It doesn't actually get to, to the origin but by the time it gets around here. That's why you don't have the vertical, uh, the vertical tangent here. So anyway, back to this. Back to this, if you want to find out the horizontal tangent, the horizontal tangent, find find when it is that dy by dx equals zero. So find find the time when dy by dx equals zero. Well if you look at this, if you want to find that if you want to find out when this equals zero, just concentrate on making the numerator to be zero. So concentrate on making the numerator to be zero. So um, t's in common, t's in common, factor out the t. That will then give you this. So when 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 would t be zero? Well, it, you've got one thing times another thing. So if t is zero here, and then uh, and then try and make this to be zero. Try to make this to be zero. So um, two minus to the power three equals zero. Add t to t blah blah blah, and then uh, cube root both sides. That will then give you this. So t uh, so when t equals zero, and when t equals this thing here. The uh, dy by dx will be zero, so that means this bit here will be zero. Uh, this bit here will be zero. So if you once you've got your t, you can put it into your into your um, parametric equations uh, into here and into here and so on. That will then give you the x, the x and y coordinates. Um, well, it, it should be this point, and it should be well if you put this into here. And into here, the x and y should be somewhere around here. It should take you to around here, okay? And then to find the vertical, so you've got your dy by dx. If you want to find out the vertical tangent, um, if you want to find out the vertical tangent, well, if you look at this, if you have a function, if you have a function like this, 
um, the derivative here dy by dx here will be will be zero. But if you have a function looking like this, dy by dx actually breaks down. When it's vertical, dy by dx breaks down. Uh, because if, if you think about the gradient, it's always um, it's always the height divided by the cross. Well, here the height, if it's horizontal, the height will be zero. The cross will be um, will be a big number. Um, so so uh, so this will be zero. But then if you look at this, when it's vertical, the height will be I don't know. Let, let's say ninety nine, and then the vertical will be zero. So you see, so you're dividing in a way you're dividing by zero. I'm not explaining this very well, but the point here is that dy by dx here equals zero. Um, dy by dx here breaks down when, when it's when it's like this. This is okay. This is bad uh, when when it's like this. So dy by dx here breaks down. So if you look at this here, dy by dx here breaks down. So if you want to find out the vertical tangent, find out when dy by dx breaks down. It breaks down when the denominator equals zero. It breaks so concentrate on making the denominator to be zero. If you want to find out the vertical the vertical um, tangent, find out when the denominator will be zero. So set this denominator, set this denominator to be zero. And then uh, and then t will be this thing here. So if you if you put this into here and into here, it will give you your, your x and y location, which should be somewhere around here. Okay?